Hi there and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me along my journey so far and if you're new to the channel then please make sure you hit the bell notification and the subscription button right now so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Well now, on to the show. Okay, here we go. Time to get stuck into another review. Today I am going to be reviewing for you the Glendronic Fog 10 year old. So let's just pour a little bit into the into the glass and then I'll get some information going. So that should do. Alright, so first of all, as previously mentioned, this is the Glendronic 10 year old Fog. Um, bottled at 43% ABV, it is non-chill filtered and natural coloured. This, you may have noticed, is a larger bottle. This is also a one litre bottle. Uh, so apparently these, as it says on the tin, are a travel retail exclusive. So that pretty much means that you can normally only pick these up from duty free stores. However, I was able to get it from a, a local store. I guess that's kind of been one of the main advantages, I suppose, for whiskey drinkers when it comes to this whole COVID business is that since we, no one has been able to travel, um, a lot of the whiskies that have been put aside for travel retail, I guess, have had to be moved into the regular retail sector so that um, we are able to buy these whiskies. So this is something that obviously I normally wouldn't be able to get outside of a travel retail store. So um, I had to I had to snap it up. So let's get on with it and we'll see how we go. So cheers on the nose. OK, so the nose is straight up. Typical Glendronic, heavy sherry bomb. I'm getting tons of like orchard fruit notes at the moment, apples, pears. There's also a orange rind vibe coming along. Stewed fruits, so think um, peaches, figs, also dried apricots. I also forgot to mention that this has been matured in Oloroso and um, Pedro Jimenez casks as well. So obviously a uh, like a double sherry bomb cask there. It's very fresh, very earthy. Now I'm not too sure whether this is peated or not. I know Glendronic do have some peated releases. Uh, there is a certain earthy tone coming along in this that I normally do pick up from a um, peated style, but it is very light. Um, there is also a smoky element coming through. Freshly cut grass. Okay, I'm kind of getting like these, um, like sour, uh, yeah, sour lemon candies. Leather. It's quite got a, a dusty edge to it as well, but that kind of comes along a little bit later. You get all the fruits first and then those dusty, leathery, old book notes start to come in. Alright, let's get on to the palette and see what we get, so cheers. Beautiful mouthfeel, syrupy. And it is also quite dry as well. I think one of the first things you'll notice from the, the flavor profile on the palette is an instant amount of ash. Definitely like a cigar ash. I'm also getting um, like to, um, cigar tobacco leaf. Again, those leathery vibes are coming in. And then also, again, a little bit of peat. And what I'm assuming is a peat note anyway. Again, like I said, I'm not too sure whether this is peated or not. If anybody has tried this and you are, uh, and if you do know that this is peated, um, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, so as those earthy elements come through, the fruits start to come in. So again, I'm getting more of that orange, uh, orange rind coming in. The orchard, typical orchard fruits aren't as prominent as they were on the nose. You will get a little bit of like a a green apple note um, but it's not as prominent as it was on the nose I'm also getting uh, milk chocolate again those stewed fruits I'm getting the peaches dried apricots figs so I guess more of that uh, sherry influence is coming in there is also a little bit of white pepper but um, 
overall the the balance of flavor is just absolutely amazing um, the finish pretty much follows through to much of the same notes that I had gotten on the palette I would say the only difference is though now I'm actually starting to pick up more vanilla and caramel um, on the on the finish than what I was getting on the on the palette so it's nice to see that you do have some continuing features that start from beginning to end but the whiskey also evolves as you get through it it's not just a, a single one note whiskey it is it just constantly evolves and changes obviously the longer you let it sit and the more time you take with it you will be able to to pick out more notes from this these are just the main prominent features of the whiskey that i'm getting so far i'd say all in all this is a fantastic release from glendronic um, so far i mean i haven't tried a lot of their um, releases so far i think this is probably the third um, but i have definitely not been disappointed by them and obviously glendronic in general has a, a remarkable reputation amongst the whiskey community so um, if you are able to to come across this wherever you may be in your local stores or maybe you may be traveling again now that restrictions are easing up do not overlook this i think it would definitely be money well spent and yeah that's it um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I think my name is Andrew and I shall see you all again on the next video. Get this. Oh, you're still here. Well, why not consider continuing on with some more content and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.